These 12 things are what successful men do when they're dating. Will it be luck, skill, or both? Men who get the woman of their dreams to come into their lives. How do they do it? Are you just lucky or did you just happen to be in the right place at the right time? Or is it something more planned and deliberate? I believe the truth is somewhere in the middle with a leaning toward being aware and purposefully waiting for the right conditions to arise. This means you need to be ready for her to come into your life when she does. If you're not, you'll miss your chance, even if everything else works out. So how do you get ready? One, make sure you know who you are. Sometimes I put this at the end of a piece, but I'm putting it here first because you can't understand anything else. To get clarity about who you are, you have to do a lot of inner work and be very brave. It takes courage because it forces you to be honest and raw in judging yourself. They want you to think deeply about your life, your views and values, the job path you've chosen, and the people you spend time with. A lot of people don't do this because they think they might not like what they find. If they don't ask the question, the answer can't hurt them, right? Ignoring the question keeps us from finding an answer when there is a problem, which there often is because our culture doesn't push us to discover who we are. People ask us what we do or want to do, and we focus on making the most money, driving the nicest cars, and living in the best areas. But if we don't fully understand why we're doing these things or who we're trying to become, they can all feel empty. Another bad thing about the blurriness is that it makes it easier to pick the wrong person to spend our lives with. People who don't know who they are or what they stand for can't know what kind of person they should be with on their journey. Identity is the most important thing I work on with my private clients because they're great at work but have problems in their personal lives. You and the woman you want to date must both fully understand who you are if you want to find the right match. She won't know who she's committing to, and you won't know what you want in the process if you don't. 2. Stop acting like a nice guy. I get it, man. I tried to be nice for the first 20 years of my life. I tried to be what I thought women wanted. I bought them flowers, did all the things they liked, and gave up my interests so I could hang out with them and their friends. Why did it never help me in the end? Even though those things are nice and beautiful, they can't take away your pride or sense of self. Nice guys are known for being people pleasers, and women want to know who you are and what you stand for. They believe that if they change enough to meet her needs and wants, give in to enough of her wants, or give her enough things, she will fall so deeply in love with them that they won't be able to live without each other. The opposite always ends up happening. She gets antsy. Things stop being new. He is angry and feels like he was cheated on. The worst part is that he can never figure out what went wrong when it's all over. Yes, you should do all the cute and romantic things you want to make her feel loved and appreciated. But if that's all you do, she won't feel like she's dating a grown-up person who can take care of themselves. She'll feel like she's dating a puppy dog that follows her around and does what she says. Don't forget that being kind is not the same as being nice. Keep your distance from that line. 3. Get it out of your body. That urge thing. The need to check things out and see what or who is out there. To go on dates. To do what you want. Of course, everyone is different. It's fine for people who don't want to date or have odd flings to not even try. It's okay to be different. Everyone has their way that makes them feel good. Do whatever it is that you want to do when you're by yourself. To put a check in the boxes. If you decide to be faithful, you should feel like you're not missing out on anything. I traveled a lot in my 20s and 30s. It was my home in Hollywood. New York City was my home for a month. For dinner, I went to different places. I wrote a book, raced cars, was in movies and ads, and was on talk shows. I did everything I set out to do. Even though I'm married, I still do a lot of those things. I'm not interested in what else is out there, though, because I already know. To be more sure of what I did want, I looked into it and found out what I didn't want. Quite literally, my whole world changed when Rachel came along. She gave me care for her two kids, who are now ours. People are counting on me, so I have a bigger reason to do well and move forward than I did when I was single. For them, I want to give everything I have and be the best person I can be. It wasn't out of my system yet and I was always being pulled to a different life. I'd always be half in and half out and that kind of weak commitment can't support a relationship for a lifetime. 4. Improve the way you talk to people. They're called skills because you can get better at them. Men are known for being, let's say, not the best at talking to people. But that's not just a fact of life that you have to accept. It's also a chance to grow and improve in a way that will help you in many other areas of your life. As a writer and public speaker, it's no surprise that I think good speaking skills can make almost every part of your life better. People will take you more seriously at work, you'll make better friends, and you'll be able to say what you think and feel more clearly and quickly. Plus, 
Let's be honest, it will help you flirt more. On dates and as you get to know each other better, you'll be able to have real deep talks with women. It will help you talk about important things and open up. Also, you'll be able to listen better since talking isn't the same as listening. Your dream woman doesn't want to meet a moaning Neanderthal. She wants to meet someone who can intellectually, socially, mentally, and spiritually keep up with her. Being sure of your ability to have real conversations will give you an edge over other guys. Five, have respect for yourself. Get ready for a strong dose of reality. A woman who cares about herself will never go out with a man who doesn't care about himself. How can she respect you if you don't respect yourself? How can she trust you, depend on you, or even fall in love with you if she doesn't respect you? I don't mind being direct about this point because guys who need to hear it and understand it are more likely to miss it or not care about it. Knowing what you want and deserve in life is a big part of respecting yourself. You should do this not from a place of pride, but from a place of self-worth and confidence. How do you learn to treat yourself with kindness? Make your life something you're proud of. Get stronger in your mind and heart. The strength of the body. Put yourself to the test. Continue reading. Stick to a workout plan. Train your mind and body to do more things properly. Learn more about what you can do as a person. As you grow and change, you'll realize that you can do a lot more than you've been letting yourself believe at this point. When this happens, you will also stop putting up with bad behavior from the people around you. Nobody can treat you badly anymore because you don't let it into your life. This is true for your job, your friends, and your relationships all at the same time. Show a woman that you won't let life push you around and that you can stay cool and collected while doing so. This will show her that you are a stable and safe partner. 6. Make a name for yourself. Yes, I did say that. Make a name for yourself. James, am I a product? Yeah, kind of. We all have our own personal brand, whether we like to accept it or not. That's just how the world works. There's a reason why single people used to be called on the market. Dating is a lot like shopping. We look for the person who will be our life partner. What do you look at when you shop? How will this tool make my life better? Characteristics and pros. These are some of yours. You care about others. You have a good heart. You're ready to work hard and spend time to gain someone's trust. You can talk to people well. You pay attention well. She won't even have to ask you to make her life easy. You're ready to make a pledge and mentally open. You care about other people, but you also have boundaries. You're honest and loyal. You care about the health of your body, mind, and spirit. It goes on and on. What you do to show the world and possible partners what you stand for is that you brand yourself. You indeed reflect what you want into the world, not what you want. All right, James. But how? Through the way you live your life, you show what beliefs you hold. It shows in the way you treat other people, the things you do every day, how you talk to people, and how patient you are when things get tough. Let's be honest, it's also about... 7. Work on how you look. It's not cool to say this, but looks do matter. James, are you saying that to get girls, you need to look good and be in good shape? Pay attention. How you show yourself is a choice. You can choose how to dress. It doesn't matter what style you have as long as you stick to it and wear it in a way that works for you. You can wear pants and a t-shirt if that's your style, but make sure they're clean and fit right. The way you talk, walk, and act is something you choose. Your stance is a choice. How hard you shake hands with someone is a choice. You choose how much eye contact you make. That which you say is a choice. You choose with your body language. How you choose to dress makes a big difference in how you look. It can show confidence or lack of confidence based on what you do with it. Women don't care most about how you look, and it won't save a relationship that's already on the rocks. But caring about how other people see you shows that you respect yourself, which makes them more interested in you. In modern society, we can try to hide this fact, but our bodies make us believe it. That is, don't be a slacker, dude. Put in some work. 8. Write down what you need and what you want. Not being sure of what you want makes it hard to be sure that you've found the right person. Most of us have an idea of the person we want to be with, but why? In this relationship, what are the greater needs you want to be met? Getting in touch with ourselves and being honest about what will make us happy is so important because everyone has different needs. Not what you've seen on Instagram, TV, or in movies. Things that you want to find. The kinds of love and care you feel the strongest. The things that you think will always connect you with that person. The job isn't easy, and it shouldn't be. That's why I think it's often ignored and not looked into further. When people promise to be with someone without fully knowing why, it's no wonder so many relationships end. Write down everything you want, and then spend even more time thinking about why you want each thing. What is the greater need that the want is based on? 
That will help you find the person who fits your life and yours the best. 9. Do more of the things you enjoy. This is very important. A lot of us get so busy with our daily lives that we forget to do the things we enjoy. Your workers or owners are asking for it. You work a lot of hours. There are a lot of things you need to do. Your daily life is so boring that it's no surprise it's so hard to meet new people. When you find your interests and hobbies, you start to make your life more social and interesting, which makes you look forward to getting up every day. You won't just have work to look forward to. Don't get me wrong, I know that not everyone is outgoing or social. But just like your style, there are no rules about what your interests should be. You should explore them to make your life more interesting. Most of the time, this will help you start talking to people who share your hobbies. This will make it more likely that you will meet new people and maybe even find a romantic partner. However, even if it doesn't lead to that, it will still make your life more interesting and satisfying, no matter what your relationship situation is. That makes people want to be around you because you show more energy and excitement for the things you love. That power is magnetic. 10. Get to know more people. When I talk to clients, it goes something like this a lot of the time. James, I'm not meeting anyone new. Okay, let's find out. What do you do every day? Well, I work and then come home. All right. What do you do for fun? Not much. All right. How many new people do you normally talk to? <sighs> As you watch Netflix while lying on the couch, people don't just suddenly appear at your door. People are out in public. You can find them in coffee shops, bookstores, art galleries, gun ranges, car shows, and fundraising events. I think everyone should make it a goal to say hello to a certain number of people every week. Nothing more than a quick, hi, 3510. Starting talks with different people during the day can help you get used to the thought of meeting new people. You never know. One of them might be the right person for you, but you can't meet them if you don't talk to them. And learn about the laws of desire. Oh, a divisive subject. Good. It's not a science project to look at attraction. People are complicated and hard to predict. When it comes to attraction, you can't just use one method and expect it to work on all women. This is actually what gives guys a bad name, which is fair. It's sleazy, dull, and lazy. You can learn how to be more confident in social situations, how to make eye contact, communicate without words, copy body language, bring out your best physical features, and speak in a calm, deep, relaxed tone. A lot of this needs to be got better at. Meeting new people and going out into the world. Having dates. Getting hit in the face. Doing it all over again after getting up. Being turned down. That's how all of us did it. Before we got to the other side, we all went through the fire. We've all had our hearts broken, our invites turned down, and our love lost. That's how you learn. That's what makes you strong. That's what teaches you not to do that again. 12. Give up your ideas about what love should look like. Everybody has a picture in their mind of what love will be like when it comes along. It doesn't always match the idea. Sometimes it couldn't be more different. Still, love is love no matter what. It's possible to miss what it is if we are too focused on what we think it should be. It's important to remember that you should set your limits and standards for what you'll accept, even if someone loves you from anywhere at any time. It's not worth keeping an open mind about if it's less than what you earn. But the point is that it could appear out of nowhere when you least expect it. I think it will. Will you be ready for it when it comes? That's the only question.